So yeah, I have a load of these kind of clips. This. There's layer on layer on layer. Tangle teasers are my best friend for your dry, damaged, brittle hair. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about hair. Something a bit different. And I know that immediately the video is about hair. You're going to be judging my hair right now, which is fine. I put myself online. You can have whatever opinion you like. So currently it is dew wash. So we got a little juicy insert pictures of my hair naturally wavy. Today's video is basically how I'm going to really take care of my hair and kind of fall in love with it again because I just generally have it in the bun 90% of the time. Like in real day to day life it's, it's in a bun a lot of the time and it just gets neglected. I want to change that which is what this video is about. For 2022 I want to have healthy hair. I definitely want to grow it. I want to get some length like here would be amazing. I have had a chop in my recent video. You would have seen my hair around this length. I had about that much cut off literally like but it needed to go you know it was dry dead hair obviously all the good good stuff is up here so these are my general um hair care bits and pieces i have this little one that kind of sits on one of my sides and then i have this one which has more of my tools and things like that so let's get into it basically throughout this video i'll be sharing pictures of my hair along you know the couple of years when i was younger and all that kind of stuff to so share a bit of a journey make it a bit more personal and um, if you want to pick up certain things if you want to feel inspired to do something similar and change your hair or if you just enjoy this kind of content then please you know subscribe down below like the video whatever you want to do to just show some support would be really really great so obviously we started with the chop which helped. Now I'm going into 2022 with the healthier hair. Um, when it comes to heat, I'm not fully against it, but I'm definitely not using heat every single day. No way. There was a time, probably when I was a teenager, I did that quite a lot. It's just not necessary. Honestly guys, my hair tools are all pretty old. I have my hair dryer with the nib. I am slowly trying to learn to sort of blow dry and do blowouts. Like I can, I kind of get the gist of it when doing it you know smoothing down and that kind of helps with frizz because a frizz frizz is a big thing for me you get very knotted hair especially this time of year the wind and behind the back of your scarf and all that kind of stuff it just gets very knotted so hair dryer blow drying is something i'm learning to do but it's not something i, I regularly do what i actually like to do is air dry but my hairdresser gave me a tip to put some oil if i'm gonna let it hair dry to just keep some of that moisture in because Yes, I'm doing a good thing by not using heat, but then I can still get water loss from the hair, moisture loss, by um, just letting that water evaporate, like lock it in with an oil. So I'm learning, I'm learning. Tangle teasers are my best friend. It is really good for detangling. It does what it says. I have another one here, it's actually broken, <laughs> but it's nothing that can't be fixed. So I'm not gonna get rid of it. It's gonna, it's gonna last me, but um, these are great. I do sometimes brush my hair when it's wet, but I'm as gentle as possible, but I know that it's not ideal. So, so I invested in a good paddle brush, a ceramic paddle brush from Moroccan oil, one word, thermal brush. So I'm, you know, judging by the name, I'm guessing these can heat up when you are styling to help speed up drying process, help style the hair. It's a really simple, I might as well get it close just a bit of hair, that's what we're talking about at the end of the day. Um, yeah, it's only been used once, but this is really good, you know, to get a large surface area of the hair. Then I also have this kind of like barrel brush by Babyliss. This is one that I wanted to like learn to do blow drying with, but I I don't wanna do too much at once. So we start with brushes and um, this is the new one that I have. I do also have like a little comb, which is good for, you know, getting the knots or just separating the hair. And by the way, I'm really open to tips because I want to start styling my hair. But I understand that someone out there might be like, well, you're trying to get the best, healthiest hair, but then you're using heat. I'm not using heat every day. I'm using it very minimally. And I am more focused on my natural hair and dealing with that, which we'll get into. But for now, we're starting with the brushes. So then I also have my straight. I usually use them at about 190. Um, again, I have the slightly thicker ones just to help get more surface area, speed up the styling process. There's layer on layer on layer. So yeah, this is my hair when it is slightly smoothened out, um, softened out with that blow dry that I mentioned. But I also have a curler with, you know, one of those ones with all those changeable heads. This one doesn't actually tell you the temperature, but it's freaking hot. So it's probably not ideal. But with all of these, heat protectant is obviously key. The heat protectants I have is the Tresemme, I have a Tresemme one, another Tresemme one. And then this is the same, but just a smaller, smaller bottle. So another one I have is by this brand. It's a French brand, Paris. And um, this is a new 
heat protection. This is more of like a balm gel, whereas these are all obviously sprays. So yes, this is something that I'm gonna be implementing as well. So what about the days when I shampoo and condition? So I have been using for a while the Faith in Nature. It's good, it's not bad or anything, but I wanted to upgrade and really this is an upgrade. Shampoo and conditioner. This feels exactly like the kind of shampoo you have in a salon. These are used in salons. So I got a bundle from Look Fantastic and it was like £58. So it wasn't cheap, but I wanted to invest. Even then that was on offer, by the way. It would have been like, I don't know, let's say 70 something. So it was a saving. A little definitely goes a long way. Really excited to use these more regularly. And this is basically the strengthening for brittle damaged hair split ends. For your dry damaged brittle hair. This is what I'm hoping is gonna make a difference to my hair. I'm really, really excited. This is like a random um, deep conditioner. I mean, it smells edible. It's vanilla, vanilla bean. It smells like a yogurt, um, but I'm just not a fan of it. It actually kind of leaves a residue in my hair and I've never really vibed with it. It's just something I've used because it's there and I'll use it, but it's not my favorite. But I do definitely want to keep with the hydration, keep with that routine. So hopefully once a week, I will be using sort of oils or deep conditioning hair mask. You can use these as often as you want. There's no rules to these because this isn't like a salon grade, really fancy one. You can use as much as you want and you can really layer it up as well. So I've been, you know, using that, but I also have this one from Garnier, which I also got on Look Fantastic. It's a really good amount for like three pounds something. Smells amazing. Papaya, oh, they have so many different scents. Oh, I love this. And again, I'm gonna be just sort of experimenting with it, but I really wanna focus on hydrating my hair and keeping the moisture in. I have high hopes. I have high hopes for 2022. So this time my hair kind of growed over 2021. I started the year sort of like this and towards the end of the year it was more like that. So you could definitely see the growth, but you know, I had bleached hair. I only bleached the sort of first section of my hair, luckily, because I just wanted to experiment with color. I was bored doing COVID. So I just did that section for a bit of a change. It didn't last long. And um, it's still sort of growing out. You guys might be able to see. I don't know if you can, but like I said, it's only a section, a small section of my hair. So the rest of it is my natural hair. It's my color, virgin hair at the top, you know? So anyway, currently I wash my hair maybe once or twice a week, which is perfectly fine. My hair doesn't get the most greasiest. In fact, this is quite greasy because when I do straighten or blow dry, it gets greasier quicker. I don't know the science behind it, but my natural hair texture, you know, doesn't get so greasy so quick. So it's fine leaving that whole week. You are creating a 2022 hair routine, strengthening, whatever it is, whether you're trying to heal damaged bleached hair or just strengthening it. We all have different textured hair. We all have different forms of hair. Some people have colored it, bleached it. Um, regularly or just once in a while like me. So many things that need to come into consideration but I'm just sharing with you what I'm really excited to do for my hair this year. Because it's a Which are really handy when you are straightening, you can just clip up an area. These are from Poundland, they're really inexpensive. And then I also bought these kind of clips from Amazon because this is a really good way, an alternative to a bun that's kind of stylish. You can just clip back your hair, let's do it now. It can be cute, um, you can make it way better than that and neater. But yeah, I've got a three pack. For that, I kind of used these, which are also from Panama, which is more of like a claw clip. And it's good if you kind of want to do a half up, half down moment. Scrunchies that are really good to just uh, reduce the, the kink in the hair or anything like that. Who doesn't own a dry shampoo? Should we do it? Should we do it? No, we're just gonna deal with the grease. Um, this is a glove to my curling iron. These are a pair of scissors, but I'm staying away from these because I did a botched job of a fringe earlier in lockdown as well. And uh, yeah, we, we don't talk about that. The reason. Well, the reason. And then I have a mousse. Guys, I've had this mousse for so many years. I use it sometimes and it does kind of bring out the wave pattern in my hair, which is nice, but it's just not something that's like, should we do some now? Do a nice bit. It's 
quite nice, but it's not something I really reach for. It's not something I've used a lot of. Um, hairspray is more when I'm going out and I really want my hair to last. During, if I'm just around the house or going on an errand, I'm not too bothered. So these kind of products last forever, especially when they're this big. Obviously, I got it to help with my frizz. And, um, you know, it's not bad. It's for medium to thick hair. Expert smoothing with humidity resistant and heat protection. Healthy hair habits are kind of the things I'm trying to focus on. If I do want to do sort of a blowout look and A, I'm being lazy or I am not trying to use heat, then these little rollers, these are from Primark, are so good, so easy to do. Um, but to be honest, my favourite method is you can do it with a, you can still use heat basically if you want to get that shiny glossy look because sometimes it can look a bit frizzy for me. Um, mainly because I'm not an expert, but I can just do like, let's do one now. I'll do a really big one to show you guys. Pin it in place. And you can just do that all over the head. Whether you want to do it while your hair is damp. I think it works best with damp hair, but you can also do it with when you're straightening and then put it up. So yeah, I have a load of these kind of clips. Got those from Shein. I get all my hair stuff from like really inexpensive places, like all the tools and stuff. And then this is just like your... Study it, study, um, standard bobbin, bobby pin, bobby pin. Just cute things like this that I'm trying to put into my hair and make it all nice. When I was younger, my mum used to brush out my waves. Um, so my hair used to be puffy and look like this. And I just never really liked my hair. And I still never really felt like, oh, I really love my hair. Like it's just kind of a, a thing that I look after and try and make it look nice. But I'm never like, wow, I love my hair today. I mainly love it when it's in the salon, or I do actually sometimes like it when it is just fully natural and really has a good wave to it. But then I have the problem that it doesn't stay like that. It will look good for like one day, especially if I'm out in the wind, the rain or whatever. It's just rubbish by the next day. So I want to be getting haircuts at least every three months to just really maintain good healthy hair. So then I can just get a trim, keep it going, keep it slowly getting rid of the drier dead ends and healthier happier hair overall so that concludes this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a like if you found it helpful interesting inspiring whatever it may be then please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye